People, my people, let's kick off 2024 with a uh, bit of a spice hit, shall we? Shall we go a bit spicy? No. Go and enjoy the highlight, the spice. Good, because if we're going to do that, then we might as well uh, drink um, spice gin. Asian spice gin. Now, this particular Asian spice gin is the uh, twin of the spiced vodka from the St. Crab Yara distillery. Owned by Wan Gagandi, who I went and interviewed, which should be thinking should be popping up now. Now, the simple fact of the matter is, is that Deep, as he's known, because Deep is rather deep, as you know in the interview, um, is the only Australian Indi uh, only Indian right in Australia who's actually distilling, and Deep is distilling with the Indian spice palette in mind, okay? So He's taken one look at what is in a basically a white bread distilling industry. Um, and it's not weird. This just distilling in Australia is white bread. Okay, I've met an awful lot of distillers now, and one thing they've all got in common is they've all got my complexion. Um, and deep, obviously, he's not. So, what he's done is he's going to be creating a line of spirits including dry gins and stuff like that he let me in there's actually a bit of a panapuri gin in the um, tasting process that is going to go towards being paired with Indian food so now this guy has got absolutely no intention whatsoever of abandoning his heritage um, and what he wants to do is bring all the flavors of Indian food to places such as mine um, and other adventures palettes. And whilst you're eating the food and you want to have a drink, what he wants you to do is um, drink this stuff, which is going to be e equally as spicy. Now, the simple fact of the matter is, is that Deep, God bless him, and I got to admit, um, interviewing him was not the toughest thing I've done in the last 12 months. I found him to be a completely lovely guy, um, passionate, loud, um, and completely devoted to what he's doing. I like myself. Um, problem is, he likes his fennel. He's a, his mum and dad are out of the Punjab. Um, so as a result is this little thimble is purely for display purposes. Um, I can tell you that the fennel in it makes it an incredibly floral gin. Um, there's a lot happening in this gin. I have tried it before. I am not doing it tonight because I don't particularly want to go spending tomorrow. The, um, with a the headache that will result from it, drinking a fennel, okay? But the simple fact of the matter is, is that if you're drinking a gin like this or a vodka like this, the only way you should be pairing it with is Indian food. Shut down. It's as simple as that. Go and, you know, um, grab some Indian takeaway or if you live in the southeast and suburbs like I do, go and hit one of the Indian food trucks um, have this in a much smaller bottle, so it'll be a little bit inconspicuous, and add it to your um, your cup, so you can have a just it will combine perfectly. Um, being in the distillery with Deep was just a sensory, just bang, because all the spices he uses in his distilling is just there. So um, my other half, who you'll see in the interview was basically like a kid in a candy shop. She's going, oh gee, oh, I can see this, I like this, oh gee, yada, 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 and it's case of, down girl, down, down, down girl. So this is the long review of the Asian spiced gin. Um, if you're a fennel fiend, and I unfortunately am not, this is definitely the gin for you. So I shall wave my little thimble full around a couple more times and say, thank you, Gargandy. Um, and I intend to keep track of Gargan Deep and so should you because this guy, who's all up like 5'7", 170 centimetres, is got an awful lot inside him and he intends to go places. So you'll definitely be seeing more of his gins, whether I can drink them or not, on this channel. Hit the subscribe, like, share, and thank you for being with me in 2024. I'll catch you people around.